we lived in a two story with a basement at the time. And uh-huh. I knew it was like, she, this was a very short overdose, but it, it almost killed her or, or a very short relapse, but it almost killed her. So wow. I knew that she had relapsed, the worst. but she wasn't willing to admit it to me yet. And when you're in that state, you can't talk to them then. Right. So I was waiting until yeah. she was coming down to be able to talk to her because I knew it would be like a horrible detrimental fight if I tried to speak to her right then. Sure. For one, she was under the influence and two, I was pissed. Not a good combo. (laughs) Right. So I'm sitting upstairs with Jaden. Jaden had woken up. He was, he was about three at the time, two and a half, three years old. And he had woken up. So I was sitting on the couch with him trying to get him to go back to sleep. I was reading to him and stuff. And he looks at me and he goes, where's Gaddy? And he calls her instead of Gabby. He was calling her Gaddy. (laughs) Oh, that's Um, cute. So yeah, yeah. It's kind of his own little creation there. Horrible. But he's like, where is she? And I'm like, she's downstairs. He's like, well, I haven't seen her in a while. And I'm like, you know what? Speaking of that, you're right. We haven't seen her in a while. You wait right here and mommy's going to go just check on her and see how she's doing. But you stay upstairs. So I walk down the stairs and I don't see her. Like yeah. I walk around the basement and the basement had like a bathroom, a laundry room, and then a little like office space room and then one big open area. I walked through the entire thing. I did not see her. So I walk upstairs, look outside, look in the garage, check for the cars. Can't find her anywhere. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, the car's here. She's not in the garage. So I'm thinking she left at this point. I'm getting pissed. But I decided, you know what? Okay, let's go check downstairs one more time. Well, this is happening. I think this is the part I was running through the forest. Like, oh, oh, really? So so then I'm continuing to look. And while I'm downstairs, I finally, I'm just going to go back upstairs and go sit down and try and call her because she's, yeah. I can't find her. Our cat, who was only about five months old at the time, five, six months old runs out of one of the side rooms and I couldn't even tell you which one well now I know it was the laundry room but at the time I wasn't sure where he came from and he just started yelling and screaming at me and when I was like what's wrong with you and tried to walk away he like literally viciously started attacking my leg and biting me and that was totally out of character so wow with you and so then I'm like I started to walk the other way and he's pulling at my leg so finally I was like what so I follow him and when I made it to where he was sitting on her leg, she had fallen up against the wall by the washer where I would have never seen her because the washer was blocking her. I had to walk all the way in that room to see her and turn and look at the other wall. Up against the cement wall, like underneath, like the partially underneath the drain sink for the washer and that. Okay. Like just in the corner. And she had hit the wall and slid down. Laundry in. She was, yeah, she was taking laundry from the washer to the dryer, you but she kinda... had decided to use while she was doing it. And I guess the bending up and down made her fall out. I had just taken Well, it. yeah, you, she took it and over it, but you know, the way you yeah. fell. Right. So her legs were like folded behind her and she was up against that wall in a position I would have never seen her. So the cat was on her legs screaming at me to come to her. And he like, he was screaming at the paramedics and everything when they got there too. And while I was doing the CPR, like I kept having to move him because he wanted to be right there to make sure she was okay. My goodness. But I would have never found her if yeah. he would. What a- my life. I still have a scar on my leg from him making me go in there. Like he was That's like, crazy. Able- you have a scar. I do. Like he attacked me. He, he was not going to let me to. Yeah. When she would, when she was using, he was sitting outside the bathroom door screaming at her. Like he was oh, not yeah. happy about this at all. Because I was already awake. He was doing yeah. Reiki energy healing. I had just, it was supposed to be a one night thing and it turned into months. That's when yeah, I got it. sick. And then this was like a few months after I had gotten out of the hospital from being sick. I had a short relapse. It was like three days. Yeah. Three days. Yeah, it was not long at all. It was very, yeah. Like day three was when I found you. I it's understandable. Sick. It's understandable with just the intensity of your, your, background and then being in a relationship 